Of all the 3D effects that Illustrator allows you to create, I must say that the Revolve effect is one of my personal favorites. With the Revolve effect, you can draw half of a shape and let Illustrator generate the rest by revolving the shape around an axis that you choose. Let's take a look at how we can do this inside of Illustrator. I'm beginning this video with the billiards.ai file already open on my machine. And as you probably notice, I only have two numbers on this artboard, but we're going to use those a little bit later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by drawing a circle on my artboard. So I'm going to come up here and click and hold on the rectangle tool to grab the ellipse tool. And one thing I'm going to do before I start drawing is I'm going to press Command R on Mac or Control R on Windows to show my rulers. And I'd like to change my unit of measurement to inches. It's going to make things a little bit easier for me in this example. So I'm just going to right click on the ruler and I'm going to choose inches from the drop down. Now what I can do with the ellipse tool active, I'm just going to click once on my artboard and I'm going to make a circle that is four inches by four inches. I'll go ahead and click OK and that's going to draw a perfect circle on my artboard. Now I'm just going to grab my selection tool and move this over here. And when using the revolve effect, I really only want half of the circle because in order for Illustrator to create this 3D shape, I really want to cut this circle in half. So I'm going to come up here to my eraser tool, grab the scissors tool, and I'm just going to click once on the top anchor and once on the bottom anchor to cut it in half. Now grab my selection tool, click on the right half of this circle and delete it. Now I have half a shape that I can start with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this shape and let's just go ahead and make a copy so that we have another one to work with over here. So just by holding down the Option key on Mac, the Alt key on Windows, I'm just going to drag to create a copy of that shape. Now I'm going to click on this leftmost semicircle. I'm going to come up here to the Effect menu, choose 3D Revolve. And in the 3D Revolve Options dialog, what I'm going to do is turn on my Preview button. Now, if you're seeing a shape like this, you might be asking yourself, well, what exactly is Illustrator doing here? Well, I need to tell it which edge that I want to revolve from. And with this particular shape, I really want it to revolve based on the right edge, not the left edge, which is currently what's chosen. So I'm going to click on that drop down and choose right edge. And you'll see right now that Illustrator is creating a 3D ball that I can use to put on my artboard. Now, there's a couple of options we can choose here. We can choose the angle, and this particular example is set to 360. You can click on this angle to kind of divide this into a pie shape. So you're only kind of creating part of this shape. Let me come back around and you'll see what I mean. You can see I'm only creating kind of a slice of the pie. So I'm going to set that back to 360. And what I'm now going to do is I want to map some art to it. But before I do so, I need to make it a symbol. So this is the art I want to map to this shape, but I need to make it a symbol first. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And if I marquee over this object, we can see that I have a white circle with the number 8 in the middle. So I'm going to open up my Symbols panel, and I'm just going to click and drag to drop this into my Symbols panel. And when I create this new symbol, I can give it a name. Let's give this a name of 8-Ball. And for the type of symbol that I create, you can really choose either one when you're working in Illustrator. The only time you'd want to use Movie Clip is if you were planning on pulling this into the Flash application. So I'll just leave this set to a graphic symbol, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see that one already exists, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose 8-Ball New. We'll go ahead and click OK, and now we have a new symbol that we can use here. And just for sake of clarity, we can drag this one to the trash because we don't need that one anymore. Now, to map this symbol to this shape, we're going to click on the shape. And if you ever want to edit this effect, you want to make sure you go to the Appearance panel. So with the Appearance panel open, you can see here's my 3D Revolve. I'm going to click on that to open the dialog. I'll turn my preview on again, and I'm going to click the Map Art button. Now I get to choose what symbol I want to use. So I'm going to choose 8-Ball New. When you're mapping a symbol to your artwork, what you're going to notice is that you've got some dark areas and some light areas. 
The dark areas are areas that are in shadow, and the light areas are the areas that are visible on your 3D shape. So I'm just going to drag this and position it right in the middle here so that I can see it on my art. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and then OK again, and we can see that we now have an 8-ball that we have on our artboard, which is a very cool appearance here. Now let's create another one. I'm going to click on this shape. Let's go ahead and come up here to our swatches panel. I'm going to make this one a white color. So it's going to be a white billiard ball here. To apply the effect, we just go to Effect 3D Revolve. Make sure we revolve it from the right edge. Turn our preview on. We can see this is getting kind of dark because it's a white shape. It, it shades it in gray. But what we can do is click on the More Options button. And then in this dialog, what I'm going to do is add a light source. So down here, we can click on the New Light button. And that will add an additional light source that will help me to light this object a little bit more. You can add multiple light sources to this shape. You can just keep clicking the New button to add light sources. So I'm going to click Fewer Options. Then I'll go ahead and click OK because we need to make the symbol for this shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my ellipse tool now and choose my rectangle tool. And I'm just going to click once on my artboard to create a shape. And what I'm going to do here, I want the height to be 2 inches. So you can see that the stripe is going to be about half the height of the ball itself. Now the width here, that's going to be a little tricky. And if I want the stripe to go all the way around the ball, I need to do a little bit of math. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type 2, and then an asterisk for the time sign, 3.14, which is pi. And I'll press tab, and it'll calculate the value. Then I just need to, after the current value, type times 2 again, and that'll give me the circumference of this shape. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now we have the strip that we want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and move this onto my artboard. Let's fill this with a yellow color. That looks good. And then I'm going to position the number 9 on top of it. And we'll just have to go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front to move that forward. And you'll have to go into your Layers panel to check where this object is located. And we can see that this text here, we need to move this up onto the Stripe sublayer. And then I'll just Shift-click on the Stripe so that I have the Stripe and the Circle and the Number all selected. I'll go ahead and close my Layers panel, go to the Align menu, and just align the horizontal center to make sure these are aligned with one another. Now, I'm going to open up my Symbols panel, drag this into the Symbols panel. Let's call this uh, Nine Ball, make this a graphic symbol, and click OK. And we'll just call this one Nine Ball New, click OK. And now we have that new symbol that's in our Symbols panel. I'm going to delete that from my artboard since I don't really need it anymore. Once it's in your Symbols panel, you don't need it on your artboard. I'll go ahead and click on the ball, go to the Appearance panel, click on the 3D Revolve effect. Once again, turn on my Preview, and I'm going to choose Map Art. Now I'm going to click on the Symbol drop-down and choose Nine Ball. And the thing that I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make sure that I center it within the artwork area. And that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and click OK. And now to get the number frontmost, I can click on this proxy here and just spin the ball so that I can see the side of the ball that has the number on it. And you can move this up or down, whichever angle you want this to appear in. And then I'll just go ahead and click OK. And we can see now that we have two balls. And you can just hold down the Option key and drag to make copies of this then I would just need to make another symbol with a different number on here. I don't know about you, but this is one of those features that I can experiment with all day. Practice on your own revolving objects to create new and exciting artwork inside of Illustrator CS6.